This is now Sersum Quarter. This spot right here on this corner, First and Pierce, this used to be my junior high school in this empty lot right here. They tore it down, I guess, 10 years ago. Used to be Terrell Junior High School. And way back there somewhere should be Walker Mill. Walker, no, Walker Jones. Junior, is that Junior High? No, that was an elementary school. Yeah, Walker Jones, way back there. Because Terrell was right here in front in this empty spot right here. They tore my school down and they built a whole bunch of other stuff. And that building there is new. Now across the street, that building was always there. But Sersum Quarter used to be right here. He knocked it all down. Okay, as I walk further down the street, now I realize they walk, they knocked down Walker Jones Elementary School. That's not here either. That church is still there. But all those buildings across the street, all those are new. And if you swing around here, this is new. But what's left of the original Sarsom Quarter? Right there. But all of that, all of this is new. The new Sarsom Quarter. All right, now that I'm walking around the corner, from the school I used to go to. This is where I used to live at. Two blocks away. That is the Tyler House. It has been updated since I used to live there as a teenager. Uh, they then added this color green and orange to it as highlights. But that's basically it. They did some renovating to the parking lot. But Tyler House had the same bad reputation as Sarsom Quarter. A place where you can lose your life, lose your possessions, or you was gonna lose something. This is what they called the hood. Now, that building is new across the street. Now they're gentrifying the hood. So it is not exactly as it used to be. Not exactly. Kind of. All right, I'm gonna come back around the corner. One of the fellas standing out on the street asked me why am I out here taking pictures. I told him I was surprised that they knocked down my junior high school and they also knocked down Walker Jones. He said no, they moved Walker Jones. It's right around the corner. So let's go down here and see if we can find the new Walker Jones. Whew. How about that? Found it. So, the area that used to be the playground for Terrell Junior High School is now Walker Joe's Elementary. Well, how about that? Right here on Pierce in New Jersey. 
and across the street, still standing. It's Holy Redeemer. Holy Redeemer, sorry. That's been here for years. And if we look up that way, that's New York Avenue. So uh, let's go up the street and go look at the new Dunbar High School. Because they knocked down the old one and redid it. Let's check that out. That is the new Dunbar High School. It looks nothing like it used to. And they moved the field. That's the field over there. And if you can't recognize anything, there's the same firehouse that's been there for decades. Since I was a kid, 40 years ago. Sursum Corda, Latin for lift up your hearts, is a small neighborhood located in DC, bordered by North Capitol Street on the east, K Street to the south, New Jersey Avenue to the west, and New York Avenue to the north. The neighborhood draws its name for the Sursum Quarter Cooperative Apartments, a 199-unit low-income housing complex constructed in 1968. The area became notorious for an open-air drug market plagued by violence and poverty in the 1980s. After a notorious 2004 murder in the neighborhood, Demolition and complete renovation of the low-income housing in Sursum Quarter was announced in 2007. August 2015, Sursum Quarter Cooperative Association announced that it had partnered with Wind Development Company and adjacent private landowners in the neighborhood to redevelop Sursum Quarter Co-op and the surrounding 6.7 acres of land into a new high-density mixed-use development. The development, which will occur in two phases, will contain more than 1,100 apartments, six times the co-op's current capacity. Well, as I walked on the outer edges of Sursum Quarter on New York Avenue, let me show you one of DC's historic school buildings. The M Street High School, also known as Perry School, is a historic former school building located in Northwest DC. It's been listed on the District of Columbia Inventory of Historic Sites since 1978 and it was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1986. The school was founded in 1870 as the preparatory high school for Negro youth, also called Washington High School. While I was looking for my old junior high school and a neighboring elementary school, I remembered there used to be a small shopping center right here on K Street because the Golden Rule Apartments was directly across the street. One of the completed buildings is the Saverna. The property manager's website states that the smoke-free five-story building was completed in 2011 and is located at 1st and K Street Northwest. It has studio, one, two, and three bedroom apartments with larger three and four bedroom townhomes. Some of the amenities are the community room with kitchen, dishwashers, individual heating and cooling for each unit, cable and internet ready, parking and a controlled access building. A part of the redevelopment deal for Sursum Quarter is to have affordable housing which mean native Washingtonians should not be priced out of their neighborhood because of gentrification. So call the management company to confirm the pricing for your budget. And the building I pointed to earlier as one of the older buildings from Sursum Quarter is Sibley Plaza. Sibley Plaza was constructed in 1968, which includes a 10-story high-rise and townhouses. The high-rise building has two elevators. Most units feature balconies and have central heat and air conditioning. A short walk from the Noma neighborhood 
It is close to public transportation and shopping, which include a pharmacy and a grocery store. Surfsom Quarter is in walking distance of Union Station, Noma Gallaudet University, and Mount Vernon Square Metro stations. Major grocery stores include Harris Teeter, Walmart, Safeway, and there's also a Starbucks. There are multiple schools in the area, and you're walking distance from downtown DC. The Surfsom Quarter neighborhood is still in its redevelopment stage, but so is the surrounding area. Before Surfsom Quarter was built in 1968, it started from humble beginnings. It started as an African-American low-income neighborhood and pretty much stayed that way for decades. The only thing that's changed are the dwellings. And I appreciate you for following me around in my old neighborhood in Northwest DC. If there's a neighborhood in DC that you're interested in, let me know and I'll take you there. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm Dickie D in DC and I will see you in the next video.